I know this happens to a lot of us. You buy carrots with high hopes to make numerous recipes, only to have them change into mold collecting vessels. Ugh. This is what I found in my little sister's fridge. She works in studies, which means she's busy, and well, life happens. I wasn't going to let these carrots end up in the bin, and I'll show you how I made a comforting and delicious carrot and lentil soup, as well as carrot rice, which paired together surprise my taste buds. The first step is to peel the carrots, and depending on how limp they are, this could get a little bit challenging. Because this is me in the video and it's unscripted, I added the carrots back only to have to take them out again because the stalks and the icky parts were still on. Um, make sure you save those peels for compost. They are great. Waste not, want not, I think that's what it was. I grated a few carrots for the rice recipe. Probably around, I'd say maybe four carrots. They weren't very large, so if you've got large carrots, then use about maybe two. Please be very careful with graters. They are dangerous things. All right, so for the other recipe and the other carrots left, I just chopped them roughly for the soup. So they're gonna be blended. You really don't need to make them look perfect and pretty. Um, just roughly chop. I also found some cherry tomatoes that needed to be used as well as some coriander that some um, seen better days. Yeah, definitely seen better days. So I grabbed one onion and uh, luckily there was an onion to use, yay. <laughs> you went to roughly chop one onion. And again, remember, we're going to be blending all this together so you really don't need to cut it perfectly. Actually, you can even just quarter it. I don't know why I went all special and fancy and cut it even smaller. You don't need to. In a thick bottom pan, drizzle a little oil and add onions and tomatoes. I wanted some caramelization here. Nothing major because the cherry tomatoes are already sweet, so I didn't need to get too much sweetness from any caramelization action. Drop in the carrots and the coriander, stalks and all. Give it a good stir to get everything going. Add a half a cup of red lentils. If you've got yellow ones, that's fine as well. Some black pepper, three stock cubes. Oh, my sister's gonna kill me. Those cubes are gold and only available back home. I also added about a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, a half a teaspoon of cumin, and a quarter teaspoon or so of cinnamon. That's it for the spices. Top it off with two to three cups of water and all you have to do now is cover and let it simmer away. I really want to say sim simmer, but it's not appropriate here. Anyway, while that was simmering away, I washed two cups of rice really well. You want to make sure the water is completely clear when it comes out. And then you need to soak this rice for at least 10, 10 to 15 minutes to get rid of any excess starch. A very important step. So drain all the water from the rice after about 10-15 minutes and then add it to a rice cooker. I also added three cups of room temperature water in there as well. My rule of thumb with rice, for every cup of rice I add one and a half cups of water. In goes the grated carrots, some salt will also follow shortly, eventually. There we go. <laughs> and a knob of butter because butter makes the world better. Cover and let it cook until it's done. All right, in the meantime, I cleaned up because while well, I value my life, plus my sisters will watch this and you know, I gotta set a good big sister example here. Besides that, you know, when things are cooking away, it does make more sense to just clean up, um, I find it so nice to sit down and eat and the kitchen doesn't look like a bomb just exploded in there. All right, uh, by the time I was done cleaning, my carrots had simmered away. I'm pretty sure I did other things other than just clean. Probably went online to chat with some of y'all. And then you wanna just test to make sure your carrots and lentils are soft, which they were. And then began the scavenger hunt for a hand blender. 
not my house, so I'm st I struggled here. But I did finally find one. And you want to blend everything until it's smooth and silky. Uh, like, I don't know, just smooth and silky. <laughs> Uh, that's basically it. I grabbed a bowl and added some little, 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 little folds of it. That word though. Kizungu si changu. I topped mine with cream and some leftover chilies from Thai takeaway that my sister had had. Hence, I also added some berlauch. There's a Swiss word for you that I foraged in the forest. I feel so accomplished. And I actually made a friend when I was um, picking the berlauch, which was pretty cool. I didn't know what the hell it was, and then he told me. Very friendly guy. So the rice is looking good, and in Kiswahili one would say zimewachana, which is good. We like to see that. I remember getting rice to look like this as the ultimate cook test back home. I mean, if your rice looked like that, you were like, you've made it. You then just want to plate it up. I decided to be again fancy and just add them to a plate and look really nice like that. And then, of course, being Mama Madoido, I garnished mine with mint. You don't need to. That's just my way. Hope you enjoyed these videos and I'll catch you in the next one.